The Biden administration is sending letters urging news outlets to, quote, ramp up scrutiny of the Biden impeachment inquiry. Yes, it is all in a response to yesterday. Speaker McCarthy's announcement saying an impeachment inquiry will be opened. Newsmax is one of the outlets that received the letter. The White House sending, in fact, two different documents. Part of it saying in bold, quote, it's time for the media to ramp up its scrutiny of House Republicans for opening an impeachment inquiry based on lies, it says. That's seeming to echo what Biden's spokesman Ian Sams also was telling the folks over on MSNBC yesterday. Take a listen. And the purpose of what they're doing is a politically motivated, far right, extreme series of attacks on the president and his family that are not rooted in the truth. And I think that what we can do and what the independent press can do is to hold them accountable for those lies over and over again. With us now, Wisconsin Congressman Tom Tiffany, who is also on the House Judiciary Committee. Welcome in, Congressman. Good to see you. Yeah, good to join you, Bianca. What's your reaction to the White House now sending letters to the media uh, trying to sway coverage of the work you are doing? You can see how desperate they are at this point, Bianca. Rather than turning over records from the Biden family to prove his innocence, what do they do? They attack us who have bringing facts to the table. The one thing that I'm really pleased with what we've done in the House of Representatives and our, our chairman of our committees in regards to this investigation is we've been very methodical and we've been factual. Over 20 phone calls, Joe Biden and his son, 20 shell companies created, $20 million that has been taken from the Biden family. Those things are all facts. And what I would encourage the independent press, as Mr. Sams referred to it, I hope they have the integrity that they will say, we want to find out what's going on here, and we're going to help dig out the information for the American people to have full transparency. It's about time. Uh, yeah, the independent press was almost uh, another part of all this that you can't make up. A lot of what is going on, too, is as a result of the work that the GOP's done, including the work with whistleblowers. We know that. And just yesterday, Chairman uh, Jordan Comer Smith all sent a letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland because they are concerned that there are now attempts by Hunter Biden's legal team to pressure the DOJ to then prosecute those IRS whistleblowers, which we know were so instrumental in a lot of what we uh, are learning. And your fear, if that was to happen, as far as the future investigations go, that we all talk about this chilling effect here, but clearly Hunter Biden's uh, attorneys, maybe they're desperate as well, Congressman. Yeah, and don't you think, Bianca, this is really consistent with what they're doing after the press and they say, hey, you need to go after these Republicans rather than looking at the facts that we brought forth week after week as we've, as we've made the case that this is going to be a legitimate impeachment inquiry. And now also you have the attorneys for Hunter Biden attacking us, not surprising at all. Rather than turning over the information to the American people, let's have full disclosure. They just say we have to stonewall and fight those who are bringing the facts to the table. Congressman Tiffany, good to see you, sir. We'll continue to follow this very closely, uh, as you know, here on Newsmax. Appreciate your time today, sir. Yeah, really good to join you, Bianca.